going on you back and I appreciate you. So since I appreciate you, let's get back straight into it. Young nigga, I got old cash spazzing on the ass. I got product on my whole ass. My What's going on, guys? It's your man C to the J to the C. Y'all already know how I be. Straight from Miami Dade County, the 305. Shout out to my city and free all my free all my niggas, bruh. And like, and welcome to my channel, guys. If you love story times, you love like you want to like get to see the fun story time, the happy story time, the crying, the tears, the happy, all of that, all the best story time you can enjoy. Check out my story time playlist and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you know and you're notified every time I upload. Because if you just subscribe, the YouTube be playing just don't tell you. But if you hit the bell, every time once I upload, it tells you automatically. And I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. And I'm happy that you guys are always staying tuned. Shout out to my day ones and all the people that just joined in. Welcome to the channel. And today's story time, we're going to continue. This is part three, but I wouldn't really necessarily call it part three. I'd call it basically the next part of this story, which is basically um, project management. I told you guys um, the failing of those two classes. It was project management and manager economics. And I told you the conclusion and the whole story for manager economics. Now I'm going to tell you the next part, which is project management and what happened with that. All right, and I'm telling you guys, these black um, <laughs> t-shirts y'all have is not the same one y'all always see. I got like, if I can show you, I have a pack of black t-shirts. You know how people always collecting white tees? I have black tees because I'm a black person. So <laughs> like, uh, shout out, like Black Lives Matter. Fuck y'all talk. But yeah, like yeah. So if you didn't see part one and part two of like um, the whole road and stuff like that of me failing in the final semester of like when I was supposed to graduate and how I recover from manager economics, go check those story uh, times out and basically, yeah, go check them out. Like, I don't even know, like, bro, like how you gonna watch this and not check them out. But like, we gonna go straight to it. No time to converse, non-verse from the old Western. Like what? Like why there is all my day ones. Y'all know what that mean. Like if y'all don't know what that mean, that mean I'm not wasting no time going straight to it. All right. So, um, so y'all know after I passed manager economics, it was a good summer. Like the rest of, I had like two weeks till the fall semester start. And that's when I'm going to start project management after failing it. And like I told you, I told you like during graduation, when I had turned my head, it was a probably management professor that I actually faced. But I did tell y'all, remember when I told you I went to a business building with my family and had to um, act happy, act like I was in, like I was in sad during my graduation when my family was there because they came all the way from Miami to see me graduate and for me to tell them straight in their face that I ended up failing two classes that I didn't graduate, I feel like it was going to damage the moment and also like make them really sad and I didn't want that. So basically I held it in and things like that and during graduation I almost shed a tears when I had that huge standing ovation from my friends and basically my um co-classmates associate of the two years I, I was at UCF but um yeah so for project management when I went to a college of business I told my mom's sister and my cousin like basically stay in this side I'm gonna go check there what they did know is that during graduation um for my major major integrated business they had told us they said all integrated business majors go back to the college of business after graduation because we're going to have a get together party where you're going to have all the professors there all the stuff so since i knew our professors going to be there that's when i confronted my manager economic professor and y'all know what y'all told me if y'all saw my last story time he told me check with your teammates and y'all see y'all know how they screwed me over well when, I, what i did tell y'all because i was saving it for this was i went to my project management professor and that was Professor um, Baz. And I told her, I said, Professor, um, I said, how did I fail your class? Like, I thought I was pretty good. I thought I was like on the right track to basically like going on and stuff like that. And then she was basically saying like, oh, um, you, you had everything, you had all requirements and things like that. But the reason why, you, why it didn't work out is because of attendance. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna say this as calmly as possible. For her class though, right? We use, um, what do you call that again? I think it was, it's an app we use for attendance. I forgot the name of it. And basically she goes by an app to see who was here and who was not here. Now, 
What I did when I was in her class for project management, I basically always tell her before I leave, I said, have a good one, Professor Bass. All right, take care, Professor Bass. Take care, Professor Bass. Take care, Professor Bass. And all my friends used to always tell me, why you always like, like before you leave, I tell her bye and stuff. And I said, there's a reason why I did that. And the reason why I did that, I still end up failing for that reason. Now I'm gonna tell you, I gotta be like, wow. So she basically told me, mind you, I didn't miss a single day from her class. But like I told y'all, she go by the app. So she basically told me, she said, you missed signing into the app four times. Just like the stupid reason when, the, when my professor said they gave you a 75 out of 100, that 25 points from 100 deduct for your final grade. She told me you missed signing in to the app four times and she deducted points for all the times I missed. Mind you, I did never, I never missed a day. Two times was probably like, I got to class, we was working on something, I went straight to working on something, and I forgot totally to sign into the app. The other two times was basically like, um, it was like, um, I thought the app was like, I thought the app was down. Uh, the app had issues, then no one ever told me when they got back to working, everybody just signed in. Those were the other two reasons. So telling you telling me every single day before I leave, I make sure to say take care, and I didn't miss a single day, and you saw me face to face, see my face every single day, but you still gonna go by an app if I was present or not. So since she went by an app, the app supposedly said I missed four days when I was here every day. And because of the app, she basically deducted points for every day I missed. And those four times I missed made me fail the class. And that's her reason. And at that moment, I was staring at her like, I stared at her because there was so much things that could come out of my mouth, so much things contemplating in my head at that moment. And I said, let me fall back. And I said, okay. And I was like, okay. And she said, okay. She said, um, you could try again. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll do really great the second time around. And she did. Are you what? 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 Like, <laughs> there is so much I can say right now, but I'm not a cursing person. Like, let me, let me, like I said, let me fall back. Because at that moment, she told me, when you take it again, I know you'll do better. It's like, what? After everything I did to pass your class, after the hard work I put in, you're telling me I'm failing a class because of attendance. You're telling me I'm failing a class because you couldn't email me and say, CJ, I see that you missed four days, but I saw you every single day. Like, is this a mistake? And I could email you back and say, yes, Professor Bass, this is a mistake. I was here all day. Uh, you, you saw me every single year. I missed out four times. Okay, no problems. But fr my friends won't make excuse for her and other people in the major will say, oh, she got to go by the by a policy of the major, she can't do favoritism. It's not even about favoritism. You literally stand there putting the final grade, say, I'm about to fail somebody for attendance, not for the finals, not for assignment, not for like like uh, um, um, things that matter in the college brand, not things that people usually fail for. I'm about to fail you for attendance. And now, mind you, my major was strict when it comes to like coming on time, missing days. You only have one excuse throughout the whole semester. And I understood that, but that it was a strict major. But it's the fact that for college, not a lot of people in the world can say, I fell a college class for attendance. People basically would say to themselves, you get to come to a class if you want to because you pay for the class with your money. And you're telling me, oh, because I miss days and it's my money, now I'm failing you because you did assign into an app. Not physically seeing you, but an app is gonna tell me if you were here or not. What? What? Yeah, so, <laughs> boy, I tell you, so basically, like, <sighs> shit crazy, bro, so I just stared at her, and then I said, okay, she said, you could try again, I know you'll do better, and I just walked away, now, this story is long, and I don't want it to be super long, so I'm going to try to shorten it for y'all, so basically, like, uh, like I told you, y'all know, y'all seen the story of, of my trip to redemption for manager economics and how I ended up passing it, best group ever in the summer, how they supported me and they understood where my pain was coming from. And I said, the reason why I was so distant and was doing our assignment, they wanted to help me. Now we're going to project management. So project management, I would get my phone, tell y'all their names, but those scumbags don't need names. Let's call them stupid dumbasses. All right. So those stupid dumbasses, first day of class, I get in. I'm taking project management with the same damn professor, Professor Baz. Now I had an opportunity to take it with another professor, 
but you know the saying, the devil you know, then the devil you don't. And I heard great stuff about the other professor, but I said, nah, I know her system. It's better I take her again and show her in her face that I could pass her class and I could prove to her that she made a mistake. So, so, right? So, yeah. <laughs> I'm just so frustrated, pissed off right now talking about this. But y'all need y'all to know. So, um, the semester started. I was back in her class. And then you know how every day, uh, first days go, introduction. Everybody has to do an intro. So everybody standing up is getting to me. And I was just trying to think of an introduction to do. And I thought of the pettiest introduction. Because one thing y'all got to know about me, I'm a quiet, cool person. But low key, ooh, I'm petty. Ooh, I'm petty. Like, I, I got to make you understand what you did. I got to make you pay. And I got to make you, like, understand. Don't mess with me. I got to make you understand. All right, like you gotta understand, and you gotta understand that I do not play. Like, don't don't play with me. <laughs> so, like, you know, so um, so yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, it finally got to me for the introductions, and I stood up, and then I was like, "Hi, everyone. My name is." Ooh, I was gonna say out my government name. <laughs> yeah, I thought. Okay, my name is CJ. My name is CJ, and. Uh, I, I like video games, like playing, um, like painting, like songwriting, um, I like working on different creative things. This is my second time taking this class. Uh, hopefully, I pass it this time around. Um, there's a lot of professors that's always gonna help you, but there's some professors they'll stand right in your face and basically say they support you, they're for you, and they'll go and fail fail you for attendance. I said some professors will be like, oh, they're they're with you. Like they want to see you life after college, want to see the career path you choose. But then they'll go and not email you and telling you that your attendance was basically bad. If y'all don't peep at this time, I'm taking shots at her. I'm taking shots at her, but I'm not looking at her. I'm taking blows after blows and everybody they face, everybody and their mama in the class is just like, who the hell are you taking shots at? And then it was, I was just like, some professor will be like, they support you, they wanna see the best of you, and then they fail you for like the dumbest reason. And some professors will be like, oh, they got your back, the best interest, wanna see your future, and they held you back from your dreams. You must, you might have had career opportunities waiting for you at that time. I had career opportunities for jobs was ready for a career path. I'm talking about $20 an hour traveling the world was waiting for me and you held me back for attendance but i didn't say all that i said some professors had say they have your best interest and they held you back from your dreams they want to crush you they don't want to see you win but you know what you're gonna do you're gonna win another one and i sat down and all that time i didn't look at her one time i did not look at her one single time because because it was a message that i want her to think about and hear but not see any reaction, no reactions, no reaction. I wanted you to feel me, but no reactions. So first day of class, I was in the, I was sitting at a table and she said, gang, the groups like, this was like the third day of class, she said, gang, groups. And the, 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 the boys, the, the guys I was uh, got to know in the, in the first um, the first week, we was in the same table, it was like, y'all wanna be in groups? It was like, okay, okay, so, uh, and that's how my group was created. So now when it comes to groups, make sure you really like got to know people the first week if, if groups are made the second week or kind of have their personality don't just be like oh just because you're at the same table or let's be in groups because sometimes it work out but uh, most of the time it doesn't work out and then you have to learn a valuable lesson so for you not to learn that valuable lesson just do the, the right the, 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 do the better choices in the beginning and when you first enter in the group so i got in groups with them and this group was more like we had a group meet where we all chat, send each messages outside class. And this is more of a group where it's like one person's working on assignment and say, hey guys, I'm gonna I'm a see y'all y'all um thoughts on it. Here's what I did so far. If you want to pitch in, then pitch in and stuff like that. So it's like it's like okay, and like basically you didn't message it when you first started the assignment. That's what my head was at. And then it's more like okay, someone will pitch in. But they didn't send the link, uh, the, the 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 Google Doc to where they was working on. 
they'll send their late to everybody um, to try to do as uh, what y'all can. And this was my group. It was like no like how could I put it? It was no it was no structure in that group. It was more like okay, someone started it, everyone else do y'all part. And I'm like, what the hell? So it's more like when I wanted to get get in and do my part, it was just like everything was already done. And then you you, you could do that little part, but what did you do as a teammate, as a, a group member? It's like, what the hell? So it was just like that throughout the whole time. And remember, I'm trying to shorten this story. So it was more like, it was more like, yo, like they was doing all this shit no communication no like everybody's uh, separating the work and i know i could take initiative and be like guys i need a time to do this like but it's just like they should know like we are grown men and no one knew like basically all right this person's doing this this person's doing that everybody do their parts everybody's just like doing their own thing and they expect everybody to just pitch in and if you don't pitch in you didn't you didn't help with this assignment so it was more like okay so semester went on this is how it was how my group was so i got my good grades all that shit like that so midway in the semester like mid semester mid semester and remember we go we went to back to school in august i'm talking about and school ends in december august september october i'm talking about like late october early november school ends early december remember late october early december i come in one day and then basically I'm helping the group and mind you I miss a couple of classes because I take bus that's what you understand I take transportation bus and I miss the bus a couple of times and in, in Orlando if you miss a bus you're waiting for an hour and by the time I get I, if I catch wait for the next bus and catch it I'm gonna get to a class like two hours in class class will be almost over so when I missed the first bus it was more like okay like I can't come to class I'll let them know and I'll tell them I want to like do my part but there was never no communication so it's like one day i go to class and then basically i'm helping with them with the assignment i'm helping them with the assignment throughout the class have pitching my ideas all that shit right then at the end of the class right you know i don't want to remember their name so i call them stupid dumbass one of the stupid dumbasses he said oh um cj uh so we want to tell you that uh, two classes ago, we talked it out with each other and we feel like you haven't done your part as a group member. I'm like, what? And at this point, I'm just quiet. I'm just standing there, sitting there, taking it all in. He was like, you haven't done your part as a group member. We feel like you're holding us back and we feel like we, we're, not get, we're not at the grades we're supposed to be because of you. We feel like you don't do work at all. You, you basically don't take initiative at all. You don't do your part. And as a group, we decided to fire you. I'll tell y'all what I was thinking. So we decided to fire you. We already talked to Professor Baz about it. We communicated with her. And so we fire you out the group. And we feel like this is best for you because it gives you time to recover with like just once one month left of the semester. And we feel like we could have helped, we, we could have kept you in the group held you on, kept on like doing the assignments and hopefully you won't one day join us in the, in, in, in the assignments. But we decided, but we felt like if we did do that, we were gonna give you a horrible peer evaluation and this is your second time taking this class. So we didn't want you to fail again. So we're kicking you out. And yeah, that's it. And they all stood up and then they left. And me, I'm just sitting at the table like, I stood, I sat there for a good while and then until Virginia came to me. Now, for those of y'all who didn't know, who don't know Virginia, go back to my, like I told y'all, my last story time. And that's when I talk about Virginia from my, one of my best groups ever from manager economics, the second time I took it in the summer. She basically had, she decided to take probably management with the same professor with me. I was happy to see her. So Virginia came over. She was like, CJ, like, what's wrong? You just been seeing your class been go, uh, done for 30 minutes. I said, you know, my group just fired me. I was like, what? Like they they just fired me. She said it's only one semester. It's only one a um, month left in the semester. And like we, I said I don't know. And then she was just like she was just like um if you want you could join my group. We don't mind things like that. And I'm saying I don't know how that's gonna work. And then basically I decided like I need to talk to a professor. So I emailed a professor and said what to do. Now let me tell y'all what I was thinking throughout this this moment. I didn't know in the future how it's gonna work out. 
But at that point, I was pissed off. These guys never commuted right. There was no structure. Everybody was doing their own thing. And then they wanted to fall everything on me and say, you're not doing your part. You haven't done stuff. We've been carrying you and we feel like you holding you back. I'm holding y'all back? After y'all act like I'm not in the group at all? Do you see now why I hate my major so much when it comes to a group aspect? I'm good with talking to people. I'm good with befriending people, with getting to know people, all of that stuff. I do not need classes to be forced to interact with people because they supposedly have the, my fate in their hands with that peer evaluation. Do you see why I despise my major so much? It's just that like, I am not someone that I don't like interacting with people. I just hate the fact that you have to kiss people as is because you know they have the peer evaluation grades at the end of the semester to decide your fate because it's so heavy for my major. If, if that's not the stupidest thing you ever heard, I don't know what is. Because it's like you could be in group assignment, but for every single class and the fact that every single class is their peer evaluation and that could either make you pass or fail you depending on the, on the score or grade. Like it's it just, it's just, I follow it. I just found it so stupid. And like project management was a heavy aspect relied on team, teamwork. And it's like, if you weren't in a team, it's like, okay. So I emailed the professor, wait for a response. I emailed her that Friday. So the weekend went by, the weekend went by and basically I didn't hear anything from her. And I was like, kind of nervous. I was like, bruh, like, so I was just like, like basically, like I was just, I, I was so furious. So I emailed the professor on that Friday and then I waited for her, uh, her response. Friday went by, no response. Saturday and Sunday went by, no, nothing. Then finally Monday afternoon, she emailed me. She said, and she said, yes, CJ, I got, um, I did talk to your group. Uh, they fired stuff like that. She said, here's the assignments you have to, she told me, I have to redo every team assignment we did since August. Since August, that means that's team project one. At this point, the whole class was in team project five. And now that I'm by myself, all the grades I had since my team never could see me a part of the team. Now I'm by myself. I had to redo all those assignments again from team of team project one. And, and the whole class is in Team Project 5. Do you see Team Project 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then hit 5. And Team Project 5 was the last one. So at this point, like, she was like, it's like, you gotta do Team Project 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And she gave me like certain dates, all, all of them throughout November. And then she said, and then um, you gotta do the final pro team, uh, um, the team, team, uh, the final project, team presentation. So, uh, so I'm considered still a team and I have to do a team presentation by myself now. So it was just like, everything was on me to do it. And it's just like, okay, they kicked me out early November. If you knew this, you could have done this all, you could have been done this, but they did November and school ends early December. You see like, oh my goodness, it's just wow. And so, um. I had to get to work and I was lazy, bro. I was lazy. So like when she told me that Monday, Team Project One was due Sunday. She made Sunday night. She said, I know it seems like a lot, but I know someone with your work, work ethic, you could get this done. I believe in you. And I feel like if you go by this schedule and do everything on pace and, and correctly, you, 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 you'll be able to get this done. If you have any questions, email me back, good luck. So Professor Bass is nice about it, even though I ain't like her, cause she make it, she made me re repeat the clap for attendance. Cause my last group for project management, I killed it with them. We, it was a great group. Malcolm, um, Johnson, Tim, we were a great group. And like, if for those of y'all saying, oh, you, you was a bad teammate for this class. My first project management, when I first took it, when she filmed me for attendance, we killed it. We were like one of the best group she had and she filmed me for attendance and I had to do this shit again. Then they were, they were these stupid dumbass and they fired me from the group. What, what the, a bit, what is this? These kids, bruh, I swear these, these white kids. <laughs> like, oh, bruh, the spoiled rats who went to UCF. Ooh, if we was, <laughs> if we was somewhere else. These peer evaluations, like, in certain places, oh, people will pull up on you. If you, if you, ooh. That's what I'm saying, it's, 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 bruh, 
you shouldn't make students have in their hands if someone fell or passed because people could get hurt for that, bro. But going back to me, man, Project Team Project One was due on that Sunday. I procrastinated. I finally started, and remember, she gave she she started she gave it me since Monday. Tuesday went by, didn't do shit. Wednesday went by, didn't do shit. Thursday went by, didn't do shit. Friday went by, didn't do shit. I didn't do shit, bro. <laughs> bro, I didn't do shit. So Friday, like Saturday night, I finally got started on Team Project One, and the shit is dude. Um, the shit is due um, tomorrow Sunday at 11.59 p.m. So right before it hit the next day, Monday, that's what it's due. I start that shit um, Saturday night. And when I tell you, it was a lot to do. Like, a lot, lot. Like, bro, it was a lot, lot to do, bro. And shit was crazy. Like, are you serious right now? Shit was crazy. So, so um, it was a lot to do. Team name um what you plan because so the project was basically like uh you have your own team as a because remember this project management as a project manager you have to make a team name up a project you're working on the time how long the project gonna take um the necessary supply for the project who is going to be hired for the project the days the project gonna be working on, like the duration of the project, how long everything gonna take to get the project done, how much money is gonna be, how the money gonna be fine, all of that as a project manager. And that's probably that's why I like I, I wanted to be a project manager, but I was like, F that. Like, bro, after I seen all the shit you have to do as one person, no, no, I'm too lazy for that, bro. No. So I got it. All of that was for team project one, and we had to do it as a team. And I did it. It was just like, you know what I did? I went to like my first time I took project management, just like I did for manager economics. I went to my old notes. I went to the first time I did project management and I try and match the, the, the info with my old group. But I did, my project was a movie theater. And basically I said, how long is it gonna take to build this movie theater? What needs to be in there? All of that stuff. So that was like, that was like the first part. The, 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 my team name was Team Fate. And the reason why I call and the message behind it, I call my team fake because even throughout do do this this trials and tribulation I'm going through, I never lost faith in God. Like when I failed those two classes, like right before probably man, some people have been like, Why you did this to me, God, all that stuff. Everything happened for a reason. It's just like um, what's his name in the Bible who basically got the the lice on him after God blessed him so much, he got lice because God because God made Satan test him, saw or whatever his name was. Not whatever his name, his name important. I'm sorry, but it's just like I forgot his name. Like, but you'll you'll be put through tests, man, and your your fate could never waver. My my fate never wavered throughout this, and I knew God was somehow gonna get me through this because I already got through manager economics. Now I just have one class to go from my dream of finally graduating college and finishing school for good. So, so team project one, um, I did all of that. I, I got it done Sunday afternoon. I started Saturday night, fell asleep. Got it done Sunday afternoon. I turned it right on time before even 11 I, I think I turned it at, at 8 p.m. So I turned it at 8 p.m. And it was done. Right? It was done. Hit Monday hit. And Team Project 2 was due Sunday. Oh, my goodness. So you know how Team Project 1, I wait always Saturday night. Team Project 2, I was super lazy. I, I, I started doing it on Sunday, the day it was due. I'm working on Team Project 2. Team Project 2 is more in details, like basically like uh um like like uh the 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 the, the amount of work that needs to be done on the project, what 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 type of equipment you're gonna be using, how uh, how you're gonna finance these equipments, like where you're gonna purchase them from, like basically how long it's gonna take to install, who are you hiring to do these work, are you gonna be working on it yourself, like basically how much hours, all of that, like the work, the workload, like basically the workload, basically the amount of work and the time, all of that was in Team Project 2, and I was working on that Sunday, and bro, man, like, I'm, procrastination gets you because I was working hard. It was a lot to do. Team Project 2 was way longer than Team Project 1. And remember, this a team assignment and me, one person is doing it. I finished like Team Project 2, like 1120. Remember, it's due at 1159. 
and I got it done. Then Team Project 3 was coming up. Oh my goodness, bro. Like I procrastinate again. And, and, and basically Team Project 3, all I did was I nearly copied every single thing from my first time I took project management. The first time I took project management with um with with Baz, like I, I, I nearly copied all the information from my first team, but I kind of switched it up to my my way. So I used their details, but made sure that the info matched and it made sense. So she didn't think uh, I got it from somewhere else. So that's how I got Team Project 3 done. Team Project 4, I just, I nearly, like, I procrastinated again, pro, uh, worked on it and stuff like that. So I got Team Project 4 done, but for me, she canceled Team Project 5. So those four was done. Then she, then it, uh, we had an office meeting. She scheduled a day for our office meeting, which day was good when I did go work uh, to a, a office meeting to come see her so she could like grade and review Team Project 1 to 4 with me to see how I'm doing. She gave me the scores. Team Project 1, I had a, I had an 8 out of 10. Team Project 2, 7 out of 10. And from there, Team Project 3, I had a 6 out of 10. Team Project 4, I had a 6 out of 10. So I'm saying like, how 3 and 4, who I got from my old team and shit like that, is like the worst grade. 60%, 60%, 70%, 80%. It's like 80, 70, 60, 60 going down. Like, what the hell? Like, and, and I was mad, but then I went to see a, a team. I explained the project to her. That was basically what the meeting was about. Explain the project, explain my process so far, understanding her notes, that the, 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 the error of course she did, what, what I have to do different for the final project. Because the final project was basically all one through four, team project one through four put together into one it's like 15 pages required for the final project 15 pages required and basically it's team project one through four but the corrections that she told you to do so basically everything she told you to go fix and correct that's what you're gonna do for a final project and the final project was approaching so i had to get ready but what happened y'all gotta stay tuned there's a part it, 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 i'm gonna do a second part to this remember again i appreciate y'all check out my story time playlist and man, like I've uh, come through Joyful Rise so much more to do. And it's your man C to J to C, and I'm out. Be breezy.